Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. You probably are gonna see this, me wear this. You possibly could see me wear this before I'm actually making it. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a really quick, really quick um, Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you a really quick, cute DIY for an ice cream social or for a kid's birthday party if they want like a ice cream party. Um, it's sort of something that I learned, um, I don't know, I snuck into a Girl Scout, a brownies class when I was a little girl and I sort of am spinning on that. Um, I have this little piece of tan felt. I found it at the Dollar Tree. I found out subsequently it's not supposed to be from the Dollar Tree. Somebody had returned it there on accident, but it's sort of this, like, we use it to make pie crust. So it's sort of this tanny colored, um, we're going to use uh, some felt. We're going to use some pom-poms. This was an Easter Bunny kit from last year. I know the Easter Bunny kits this year as well. You could also use these speckled eggs. I was thinking about using the green one because mint chocolate chip is my favorite ice cream. I might. You can also use um, like those little clear shot glasses would be cute if you wanted to do like a sundae. Um, you can also use cups from the kids section. Um, you know, like toy section. They have like sometimes they have like little teacups and stuff would be really cute for a sundae as well. So the first thing we're going to do is decide what kind of ice cream cone we're going to make. Of course, you're going to use your hot glue gun and I'm going to tilt you down. Oh, and we're going to use pin backs. These pin backs I've had for 15,000 years. I'm pretty sure they're from Michael's because um, that's where I used to get all my crafting supplies from. And they're just pin backs. But seriously, you get bar, bar pins, the value pack. I don't even know how many were in here originally, but... Oh, 60 pieces, but there's a lot. So I'm gonna tilt you down and I'll tell you what we're gonna do first and foremost. Okay. Oh, we also are gonna use some of this and you can use white cotton, fleece, whatever you want. If you wanted to put like whipped cream on it, you could do that as well. So really what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our um, egg and we're gonna come away from the point of one of the corners and we're going to wrap our egg like this. And that's only because whatever size pom-pom or egg you use, you wanna make sure that your cone is big enough. This is actually a, I wanna say that that's purple, a purple Sharpie. But as long as I can make a cone that's going to be as wide as the egg is as it starts to get narrow. So I might make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'll turn it over. And we're just gonna basically create an arch. You could use a plate. Um, you could use a plate or a compass or whatever you wanna use to create that arch. Then we're gonna cut it out and we're just gonna dry fit it first. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do before we glue it. So don't get ahead of me and don't glue it. <laughs> so this is gonna be one type of ice cream cone. Okay. We're going to dry fit it. So let's pretend this big old waffle cone. How's that? We'll make a big old waffle cone. Pretend that it's glued and stuff your egg in there. So now you can see it's way too big. So what we'll do is we'll make it a little smaller and that's okay. Again, best to make it too big and trim it down than to make it too small and then go, oh no. Ah. So let's again dry fit it. Let's see. Okay, so that looks about, that looks pretty good actually. And as much as we normally like, oh, trim it down, make it look, but it's supposed to be an ice cream cone. And that's the way ice cream cones normally are. So now I'm gonna take one of the sides, right side, wrong side, as long as there's no marker on there already. This is gold, I'm gonna try gold. I don't know if gold will work, but oh, gold works pretty nice. So I'm gonna follow the arches around. Sorry about that. I'm gonna follow the arches around. And then I'm gonna go up from the point, almost like a spider web. Okay. 
okay? And then we're going to get our mint chocolate chip egg, our mint chocolate chip scoop, and we're going to overlap and glue right along this seam. Yeah, because that looks like a scoop of ice cream. So let's put a little here at the point. Now we're just gonna take some tissues and I'm just using tissues if you don't have tissues because it's, you know, quarantine. I'm just gonna roll it sort of in a cone shape a little bit just to stuff it down there, just to give it some substance. But you don't want it to impede on your egg being on ice cream cone. There we go. Okay, now normally the ice cream cone look has the like the ridged um, stuff on it. So what we're gonna try to do is just fake it till we make it. No, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put whipped cream down there. I'm gonna try to create it almost like it's a double layer cone. Okay, so I'm gonna take some, did I take the pom-poms? Oh, never mind. Ooh you know what, I don't wanna use that. I'm gonna use some scrap of the white car chamois so i think we'll take some of this just make a quick circle doesn't have to be neat as a matter of fact probably the least neat is better because it's supposed to look like a free form pile of ice cream whipped cream or whatever okay so let's do okay is the fuzzy side, oh, the fuzzy side probably better, right? Nah, fuzzy side out. Let's do my mint chocolate chip ice cream cone. <laughs> and we will get it all over and just go. Okay, now that we have that, and it's supposed to look like sort of whipped cream or whatever, or the vanilla ice cream second layer. I don't know. Pick what you want. Yeah, it just sort of looks like an egg sitting on top of a fuzzy on top of an ice cream cone. No, I'm kidding. What's really gonna truly make it is we're gonna take another little bit of this. Or you could do a pom-pom at this point, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. And again, you're gonna try to wiggle your scissor around so it's not a perfect circle or a perfect oval. We're gonna put this down here and get some whipped cream on there. Now this would be really, really cute with sticky, um, not sticky, with puffy paint. So be so cute with puffy paint. And every really good ice cream cone sundae, waffle cone sundae, needs a cherry on top. So we're gonna take a red bead. We're gonna take a red bead and we're going to put that right on top. Ah! <laughs> and put the cherry on top of the ice cream cone that's a mint chocolate chip one but now let me show you now you can decide you want the cone seam to be out so everybody knows it's a cone do you want to put it in i'm gonna i'm gonna finish this line because i wasn't sure how it was gonna look finished or unfinished so i'm gonna finish that line so now you decide you want it to how you want it to look do you want it to be facing out, facing in, what have you. So I'm going to glue this pin back on here. Let's see, which is the cutest? I think it looks, oh, there you go. That is actually the cutest, believe it or not. And I'm going to glue it right onto the cone, I mean onto the, the ice cream, so that I don't have to worry about the cone. 
Okay. Now, if you've never worked with these pin backs before, try to get a little glue in there. And you really wanna let it dry before you open it, okay? So while that's drying, let's make one for Jim. We'll make Jim a little, a little lapel type one and we'll make it out of a pom-pom. We'll make him a vanilla one. So we're just gonna take a corner of fabric, cut a mini cone like this. We're gonna go ahead and let me show you what it looks like with purple, because purple is like just another shade. In fact, let's make him a true grid, because that's how it would be in the waffle iron, right? It wouldn't be an angular grid like that. It would be a true grid. See, the purple looks kind of brown, doesn't it? Okay, well, ah, that last piece just wants to fly away. Okay, and let's make this cone. It looks like I'll wrap this end around because that end is a little taller. So if you were making a Sunday, um, which is good actually, Sundays are good, you make them in a little cup. They actually are a lot easier. You can use the red beads for, sorry, that was a lot of wind that just came through Rolla. Um, <laughs> you can use the red beads for cherries, but you can also use little tiny red pom-poms would be cute as well, so. Jim is like a vanilla kind of guy. Let's give him a vanilla cone. He actually loves a banana split. His favorite ice cream is a banana split. How cute is that, right? Now, if you really wanted to enhance it and make like the cone shape, you could trim like this, sorry, you could trim this bowl shape around a little bit. So it has that little bit of like scoop thing going on the bottom, but you don't really have to, it's not necessity. Um, and we're just gonna give Jim a cherry. Let's give Jim a pink cherry. Nah, let's give Jim, I don't know, what do you think? A little pink cherry on top. <laughs> now he doesn't have anything inside his cone, stuffed inside his cone. So I'm um, gonna be careful when I put this pin on, but uh, be mindful when you put the pin on and um, when you open and close it, that you, when you put it on, you don't squish it. Okay, what's the cutest I think? Yep, yeah. for some reason that seam on that waffle cone is just super cute. So that's that really quick craft for that for your ice cream social um, favors they could be, which would be super cute. Um, I wonder if we should give this guy a stem. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's put them on. Now the Dollar Tree doesn't sell pin backs, but they do sell safety pins. You can always uh, put a piece of ribbon under the back of the safety pin and use that to attach your pin to your shirt. And now I'm ready for my ice cream social. So hopefully you guys joined us. If you did, thank you. If you enjoyed this, thumbs up, all the things. I love you. Take care, God bless, we'll see you next time. Bye.